coming. What do you guess? Should I say the famous line, what are you doing today? What are you doing today, Josh? We are doing a septic tank truck. It smells awesome. Mmm. <coughs> Can't use my nose. Am I done yet? That's why Nate wanted me to do this. It's by those, that's probably, oh, that's, yes. didn't even look at it. Yeah, <laughs> don't touch those. Here, you want some? <laughs> like, put some plastic over it or something. Take a big whiff, because you'll throw it off trouble. <laughs> it smells bad. <laughs> I gotta take a deep breath, because I can't use my nose. I'm leaving. I'll be back in like an hour. Oh my god. It's so cold. Hopefully this thing's out of here. Smooth surface, pretty easy to work with. Only downside is, it, is it's a roll, so that's kind of hard to work with. But when you got stuff that you can cut in, it's fairly simple. And Brandon took down the or took down the ladder. That makes it even easier to get in here and put stuff on. Well, the hard thing about doing installs like this, especially in the winter time, is we have to have these vehicles sit in here for a couple of hours before we even get a start on them. And ones like this, which are deal with septic tanks and just different smells that you're not used to. It it can get pretty potent pretty fast. But, I mean, it's no different. In the summertime, the nice thing is you pull it in, you get it done in like an hour and a half and pull it out and you don't ever notice. But something like this, you notice pretty easy, pretty fast. And it sucks for your screen printer because the smell lingers. <laughs> you can deal with the smell the rest of the day. <laughs> What's up guys, today we're working on some t-shirts for Ron Fox and Sons Motorsports. Ron's been around the racing community for a long time, 55 years supporting local racers. It's pretty cool that we uh, get to do a shirt for him. about it right now. Oh wow, you both are working on the same thing. Are you? Well, that's good to know. <laughs> I know we must have clicked on it at the same exact time. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, well I got the invoice done. Do you good always do the invoice Brandon. first? Brandon's good thing Brandon's videoing. <laughs> well that's good, it was long. Yeah. Do you Here's your invoice. I got done for you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's so nice of you. <sighs> so, new order. <laughs> On to the next. So what are you I'm doing what she was doing. <laughs> <laughs> you already know what I'm doing. Now I'm doing the next one. How are you this fine morning? I'm doing okay. <laughs> Working on an order from Midwest Towing. Yeah, we have to install this Monday morning. So does Ian work today? Hmm? Does Ian work today? Uh, at one. At one, okay. Oh, yeah. 
Drink. What are you working on? Um, a rush order that just came in. Hold on. I'm going to harbor it back down. Um, gentleman came in and he needs truck numbers and name and everything for his truck. He's getting a temporary permit and everything because he wants to make money this weekend. So we're going to get a rush out today. Are you happy you scared me now? <laughs> we're going to be naming some trucking decals for our little trucking. Kind of ship out today. I'm printing. Well, I'm printing um, about four different layouts for Tommy King, has some customers. Um, a little bit, another 11. Our set of graphics will be printing as well. So, looking pretty sweet, I think. Mason's season is on its way. Very exciting. So we got this van in here today. It's been in here before. We put this Empire logo on. Unfortunately, they had an accident on the other side. We got some damage to the logo. So we have to replace it. Fortunately for them, we save every logo, every order we ever do. So they just gave us a call, told us what they needed, and we just hit the print button. So this is what it was beforehand. And since this side was damaged, it's been in the repair shop. They fixed the body panels. And we're just gonna slap this logo back on for them.